All right, so there are several significant issues here. We can start by uh, start diagnosing them by just kind of doing a little bit of uh, some observation. So there's clearly something really strange happening here and here and back here. Uh, we are getting some of the detail from the bake. This stuff is all, these are all features in the high poly, but there's a lot of this kind of like weird lighting stuff. And this is called bruising whenever you get this, uh, these like dark, weird areas. And these are a result of the triangulation in the high poly. It's not being piped in to painter. And this is an issue with, I think the FBX, the FBX for some reason, even though, let me just hop over to Maya real quick. Again, if anybody has a solution for this, please feel free to share it. But uh, I've tried a lot of these things. In this case, I turn on smoothing groups because like that's the most obvious one as the FBX export option. And uh, we still get this. So kind of a sad face, but it's not too difficult to fix because the OBJ will correctly capture this information. If I go through uh, the, the bakes, these, these, these images right here by tapping the B key, what we can see is the IDs did not come through at all either. And that's, that's kind of a drag. The IDs will not come through with an OBJ. It's possible that I, again, I'm, I'm missing something, but in my experience, for some reason, vertex IDs are not, are not captured with OBJ geometry. So we really need them to come through here in the FBX. Again, we baked from the FBX. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off everything but the ID here in my options, and I'm gonna click it. Not everybody has options, but in this case, the ID does. If we click normal or world space, we don't get anything. But in this case, it wants its color source to be the material color. We don't have anything on the material. We need this to be looking at the vertex colors. So with that selected, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, click bake mesh maps. And here we can see, even though they are incorrect for other reasons that will become apparent shortly, they're at least now showing up. So that's kind of a win. So I'm gonna tap the M key to go back to material. And let's try to see if we can get better bakes on the normal. So I'm gonna head over to uh, this. Oh, I, well, it doesn't really matter. But basically I wanna, at this point, turn off the IDs because now the ID for now is working and I'm, well, you know, working quote unquote. It's, it's we're gonna need to rebake it once we fix some other issues. But I'm gonna remove the FBX and now we're gonna select the OBJ and we're gonna to try to bake everything else. And all of these options here still remain exactly the same as they were. And we will cross our fingers. So that did not fix the issue, which is a little strange. Um, there's there's kind of a something I've been, I've been going back and forth with in my testing, but we can address this other issue of all this crap, and then we'll try to figure out why we can't get these normals to update. So let's hop over to Maya for just a moment, and we'll go ahead and hide the high poly, and I'm gonna show the low poly. So if we go to our UVs, our little UV editor, everything looks good. There isn't anything obviously out of whack here, but if I hop back over to uh, painter for a moment, what we can see is if we go to the uh, 3D, 2D view, there is this giant square going across the UVs. So why is it when I look at this in Maya, I see one UV layout and in painter, there is clearly something else going on with the UVs, which is very strange and certainly very detrimental. You can have more than one UV set with low poly geometry in Maya. So I did not actually mean to close that. Let me See if I can get that back up. I'll we'll grab the UV set editor. Where did my UVs go? One second. Ah, oh, pop over here. Okay, so we can see I've only got the default UV set here, map one. So maybe that's not the problem, but I'm just gonna go through here and select all of the low, low poly geometry and we'll just keep an eye over here. Ah, cylinder low, you've got an extra UV channel. And if I click it, what do we see? A giant square across our UVs. So Substance Painter is picking that up and it is ruining everything. So I'm just gonna select it and I'm gonna hit delete. And so now all I have on all of these is the correct UV layout. And we can go ahead, close this, close this. I'm gonna go ahead and re-export as Gunlow FBX, turn that off. Probably doesn't matter. Let's leave it off for now, and if we need to swing back, we can turn it back on. But now we need to re-import that updated geometry 
into Painter. So Project Configuration, go to Select, Gun Low FBX, we'll hit OK. And now we can see our UVs look a lot better. I'm going to hop back over to just my 3D view. And let's just try a rebake here. Let me make sure I've got the correct geometry. The OBJ, we're ignoring. We'll need to come back to the, uh, to the ID here. But now that we've got the OBJ loaded, we may as well take care of that. I think everything else here is OK. Let's go ahead and bake the gun mesh maps. Okay, so you can see I still have a problem here with my normals, but but a lot of this other stuff has resolved. And I, I kind of have a, a feeling, that's interesting, I wonder where that guy went. I might have left him off when I selected the high poly for export. Um, although it is casting a shadow, so maybe it was the low poly that's missing it. So let's hop over to the low poly. Yeah, so I just have that, I forgot to, to, to drag select all that stuff. And it looks like I'm missing it from this side, so since I'm here, I'll just go ahead and duplicate it over. Cool. And because we use the tool rather than just like duplicating it, everything is still in the same transform over here. So happy days. Let's go ahead and do an export selection. Gone low. Back over to painter. Oh, project configuration. Select. Grab gun low. Hit OK. All right. So here's this guy. He's back. And we can certainly rebake in a moment. But for now, it looks like most of the stuff is showing up. We're still getting some things that are missing here. So let's see if we can address that. We're going to uh, bake mesh maps. So when you have a situation where it feels like assets are being cropped or missed, Oftentimes what you can do is you can fix that by changing your bake cage, which is basically what's going on here. So what you can imagine for your bake is you have the high poly and low poly, and what it'll do is it'll essentially duplicate your low poly and then just push it, put a push modifier on it, if you're familiar with Max, or just basically expand it along the direction of its normals. So in this case, this face gets pushed up a little bit, and this face gets pushed out a little bit, and this face gets pushed out, and then it just basically looks from a vertex on the expanded low to a vertex on the original low, where does it intersect the high poly and what does it look like? And then it captures that information. So if your high poly does not exist within the space between your original low and your expanded low, you get stuff like this. So we're gonna hop back over. You can you can definitely come over and change this value. Like if I set this to point, I don't know, something, something giant like 0.5 uh, just for the sake of this example. Let's see if this works better. The problem is, is you can go too far and then you end up seeing stuff that you don't actually want to get baked in. So I don't know if I'm going to find any obvious examples of that. And it also didn't address this issue, which is what I was primarily interested in. So if you look at these two values, you've got uh, the max frontal distance, which is if it's looking, I guess looking, I don't know, I would presume out. So if I increase this, this might work a little bit better. Yeah, right. So there we, ca we capture that information. But again, in this case, what's what I think is really an issue here is the low poly is not actually close enough to the high poly. So I want to make that little adjustment in Maya. So we'll go to gun high and grab this this face here. Go to W, and you can see it's not it's not aligned with the world axis. So I'm going to set this to component, and that might work a little better. We should get a little axis here, and then I can just kind of scoot it back until we get closer to what's going on with that high poly. And then I'm just going to re-export gun low. Go to painter. I'm going to set these back to their default values, which is 0.01 and 0.01 and we'll rebake let's see if that fixes it we may still be too far off but we're about 10 minutes i'm going to go ahead and stop the video and we will pick up the debugging on the bake in the next one. Oh, i forgot to re-import the new one let's just i'm going to pause it for just a second all right so by re-importing the geometry the low poly geometry and rebaking that little fix there on the front, fix it, and then we don't need to worry about potentially busting anything else 
uh, here on the mesh, aside from the stuff that is still clearly busted, which we will address in the next video.